Coming up on this edition of the ZTV Sports Report, the football team fell in their last game of the season. Was this the only thing they lost this week? The Detroit Titans came into town looking for a W over the men's basketball team. Did the Zips send them packing? And the men's soccer team headed to Charlotte, hoping to get one step closer to defending their national title. All that and more coming up on the ZTV Sports Report. Welcome into the ZTV studios. It's the Sports Report back with you for another week of everything Akron Sports. I'm Stacy Salvi alongside my co-host DJ Johnson. Thanks Stacy. Hard to believe it's already the last show of 2011. I know. The fall has flown by and it feels like it was just yesterday when I was introducing you to our viewers. I think I've done a pretty good job of coaching you this semester. If that's what you'd like to believe. <laughs> Anyhow, we've had a great season of sports here at Akron. Naturally, some teams have had more success than others. We've learned this week that UA's head football coach, Rob Ionello, was let go. With a 2-22 record, I can't imagine this news was a shock to anyone. Sadly, I agree with you. The rumors had been swirling for a while. Let's see what Akron's director of athletics, Tom Wistersell, had to say about Rob Ionello's departure. Well, ultimately, uh, you know, ultimately we need to win more games. And... Uh, you know, it, it's not all about winning. There's lots of other things that go into it, but uh, certainly we didn't feel like the program was heading in the direction we wanted it to uh, at the end of this year. And uh, so certainly winning was a factor in, uh, in the decision. How disappointing for you when he was your guy? I mean, you, you first hired him. And well, yeah, I mean, you know, it's disappointing because we certainly had high hopes uh, for him. and. I think he's a good football coach. Uh, I think we have good football coaches on our uh, on our staff, and uh, you know, um, so it's it's disappointing because you want to see it work. It has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with our student athletes and the fact that I want to see them succeed. And uh, and uh, they weren't they weren't they weren't succeeding, and that's uh, and that's disappointing. I'm crossing my fingers for Trestle or Fickle. How about you, DJ? I think you're dreaming, but let's throw it over to Dee and Coy for a recap of the Zips football season and to fill us in with the coaching hunt. Thanks, guys, and welcome to the first installment of the last episode of the semester. And man, it's been a great one. Unfortunately for the football team, things haven't gone so smooth. Combined, they are 2-22 and 22 over the past two years, and Rob Ionella was fired. And rumors are spreading about who will be the coach for the team next season. So D, why don't you fill us in for some of the rumored candidates? Well, as you know, there's been a lot of talk about Jim Trestle, but it's also been reported most recently that Trestle is not even a candidate for the job. The name Luke Fickle was also thrown out there, but not sure if there's any truth to that. Looks like he may be staying on the staff at Ohio State with Urban Meyer. A few other names may be more realistic. Paul Winters, who was a former Zip and assistant at Akron, is now the head coach of Wayne State. And also Toledo offensive coordinator, Matt Campbell. It will be interesting to see who the Zips ultimately end up with for each of those four guys you mentioned, in my opinion, would be a great fit for the Akron program. There's no doubt about that. And I think Winters just may find himself back right here at the University of Akron. But now, it's time for some Zips trivia. What country is Zips forward Nick Centenovich from? Your answer in men's basketball action coming up after the break. Keep it locked. 